Assalamualaikum. My name is Ahmad Salbi Saimi. My matrix number is 06DPR19F101. Hello, Assalamualaikum. My name is Norhaida Nabila Binti Suhazli. My matrix number is 06DPR19F101. Greetings to Madam Salmawati and my fellow friends. My name is Prince Yunisore and my matrix number is 06DPR19F1007. Hi, my name is Wan Umaira Akilah binti Wan Muhammad Zamri. My matrix number is 06 TPR 19F1030. Hi, my name is Daniel No Ben Azlin. My matrix number is 06 TPR 19F1025. Assalamualaikum. Hey, hi, my name is Nuri Atiyah binti Amran. My number matrix is 06 TPR 19F1013. Product that we are market from Tasty Company are product that have been innovated into crispy rendang maman, which is from rendang maman product that are usually cooked with chicken and meat. The reason we are market the rendang maman crispy product is because we want to attract customers who are not familiar with maman vegetable, and we also want to attract customer who are travelers, working women, singles, and university students. We also want to expand our product to one of country in Southeast Asia, which is. Vietnam. We are confident that its product is well received there. Next, I will pass to Haida and Myra to discuss our four pieces. Next, I will explain about the products that we will market into Vietnam. The product we market in Vietnam are products that have been innovated to be rendang maman crispy instead of rendang maman which is usually cooked with chicken or meat. We market this product to Vietnam because we want to introduce and attract customers who are unfamiliar or never knew about the existence of this mamad vegetable. That way, customers will be attracted to try and wonder how the menu tastes especially towards foreign to Vietnam. Not only that, we also believe that Vietnam people are very concerned about healthy food based on vegetables. So, this can give us an opportunity to further develop Renang Maman Crispy products to the market in Vietnam. Now, I will also explain about the promotion activities used by Tasty Enterprise to market Rendang Maman Crispy products in Vietnam. Tasty Enterprise will also provide samples of Rendang Maman Crispy to customers to try for free. We will distribute the Rendang samples to populated areas such as residential area, night market sites and roadside. Later, we will also sell the product at a cheap price as a sign of introducing new products brought into Vietnam. Once the product is known to many customers in Vietnam, we will start to increase the price slightly according to the profit and loss financial rate. We believe by using these promotional activities, Tasty Enterprise can thrive in Vietnam. I will explain about the marketing mix that, that is the price in place that Tasty Enterprise offer to Vietnam market. Tasty Enterprise product that Rendang Maman Crispy can be marketed in Vietnam because the price is available by the locals. Based on the research conducted by our company, Vietnam found that there is a large young population that is growing middle class and rapid urbanization and big leading to more eating out. Not only that, traveling, shopping in supermarket or hypermarket increase consumption of convenience and processed food in the pre-COVID environment and should return to it once the pandemic has been managed. The point is that the affordable price and location such as place for Vietnam is very suitable for Rendang Maman Crispy due to strong economic growth, increased foreign investment, a growing middle class with the higher disposable income. This is how Vietnam can strongly encourage foreign companies such as Tasty Enterprise to market their product to Vietnam. Next, Pravin will explain how Rendang Maman Crispy can be marketed to Vietnam. So today the reason why am I here is because I'm going to talk about the reason why our company Tasty Enterprises are going to market our product which is called Rendang Maman Crispy to Vietnam. Okay, now let me start. Firstly, our Rendang Maman Crispy food product is a healthy food product. Okay, it has vitamin C, it can lower cholesterol levels, it can cure liver diseases and so on. Okay, furthermore, as we did some research in Google and everything, we found out that Vietnamese people eat healthy food compared to junk food because in their dishes, uh, food dishes, they have vegetables in everything, okay? In every of the dishes, they have vegetables. So from this, we can know that Vietnamese people prefer healthy food, okay? There are many types of dishes for their healthy food, okay? And their healthy food can boost immune system, it's good for health and so on. So 
this is what this is one of the reason why we want to uh, market our product to vietnam okay the next thing is the economic growth in vietnam has fallen down in the year of 2020 okay now as we got some news it's starting to recover starting from 2021 2021 is starting to recover and it will be fully recovered in the year of 2022 so this will be a good time for us to market our product in the country all right so it, everything will be running smoothly okay now the third reason is the fta negotiations in vietnam allow foreign products to be marketed in their country fta means free trade agreement they allow foreign products to be marketed so there will be an international standard okay so our company is the enterprises found out that this will be a great opportunity for us to boost our sales to do international marketing very properly and also increase our brand reputation jobio okay now um i would like to pass on to my teammate no to continue his presentation now is marketing tools communications printed media Taxi Enterprise will using marketing tools communication in Vietnam. The tools that Taxi Enterprise use is printed media. Print advertising in Vietnam is still a reliable method for creating brand exposure. It's effective and blends well with other forms of advertising formats available today. The high distribution across Vietnam is a testament to readers' continued preference for the tangibility that print advertising offers. This makes it an essential part of any media strategy for Tasty Enterprise to promote the rendang maman crispy. Next, Daniel No will share about mobile marketing. Second is mobile marketing. Mobile marketing in Vietnam is growing in popularity. In fact, many people see Vietnam as a land of of opportunity for mobile marketers in Vietnam most half of smartphone user which is 49% say they use their phone while watching TV of this group 39% use their phone to search for information related to the show they were watching while 30% search for information relating for brand advertisement because of that, Pesky Enterprise intends to market the product in Vietnam when seeing that the percentage of mobile marketing usage in Vietnam is high among customers. We plan to use mobile marketing tools as a tool to promote the Rendang Maman Crispy product in Vietnam. Direct Export Modes The first one is Distributor. A distributor is a wholesale agent who connect manufacturers and retailers. Our company use this way to enter the Vietnam market faster and easier for our product to be known. Second is agent. Agent is a person who has been legally authorized to act on behalf of another person or entity. Agent may be employed to represent clients in negotiation and other dealing with third parties. This is also one of the ways that the company market its product to Vietnam. Indirect export modes. First is export buying agent. Tasty Enterprise will hire a Vietnamese representative as an agent. We will request the agent to negotiating process and identifying potential sellers for us. We will compensate the agent by a commission. Another indirect export modes that Tasty Enterprise will use is broker. Tasty Enterprise will also hire a broker from Vietnam that will act as distinguished agent, one who can act on behalf of us. This broker can help us to grow our business and uh, in Vietnam because he knows the culture and the environment there. Next, Nurin will share about strategy types of modes of entry. The strategy used by our company to market product in Vietnam is to do licensing and franchising. Okay, about licensing, as the world's largest outsourcing and manufacturing center, many foreign investors are looking for opportunities to export product to Vietnam from other markets because that is destined enterprise plans to market the product Rendang Maman Crispy in Vietnam to find more effective market opportunity for the product we market. At the same time, Vietnam consumers prefer to buy forest made goods which makes the uh, developing country one of the most attractive market in Asia. However, many forest investors face legal problems. 
especially with paperwork before conducting their business legally in Vietnam. One of the most confusing um, follow is the sub-licensing for testing enterprise facility. Okay, about franchising. Before the business system could be franchised in Vietnam, to market the product rendang Maman Crispy, we need to consider uh, the strategy to market our product in Vietnam where we need to have a franchising system that must have been operating for at least one year and the Vietnam master franchise must have operated the business for at least one year before sub franchising. And thus the enterprise must register the franchise with the Ministry of Industry and Trade file and make copy of its disclosure document. That's all from my group. We hope that the Random Moment Crispy product marketed by Tasty Enterprise will develop and gain acceptance from the Vietnam community in the future.